The investigation continues into the deadly shooting at the mosque here in Quebec City. Now, right behind me, you can see the mosque and cultural center, that brown building uh, with the windows to the right. It is ringed by crime tape right now, and on the street, a number of large police vehicles as that investigation goes on. But right now, authorities here are treating it as a lone wolf, a lone suspect uh, involved in the shooting. 27-year-old Alexander Bissonnet, uh, a student who attends or did attend a university not terribly far uh, from here. He apparently opened fire Sunday night around 8 o'clock local time, drove about five kilometers away in his car, and then called 911 and turned himself in. There's, of course, a crush of media out here. You can see down here there are some people, eyewitnesses, uh, people in the Muslim community who are talking uh, to uh, the media, trying to bring them up to date, trying to talk about how this is a nation that is coming together. And you can see an outpouring of grief here that is cropped up on this snowbank uh, here. Candles, flowers, a number of signs that also pour uh, out their heart talking about uh, the division. And there is more power in unity than division, just one of the many signs uh, out here. And we heard that yesterday from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who came out and talked about how there are 36 million hearts breaking in Canada today because of this tragedy. Quebec is a very small Muslim population, only about 1%. But we do know that security is being beefed up around mosques all around the nation. Canada is a nation that prides itself on diversity, something in certain contrast to the United States to the south, where there is a travel ban on a number of Muslim nations, people coming into the United States. Canada has made it clear that those people would be welcome here in this country. The investigation goes on. It is uh, Alexander Bissonnet is uh, in custody right now, but it is certainly a time that people are looking for more answers than questions. They want to know why, what is the motive, and that's something that people will be pouring over in the days, weeks, and probably months to come. Sean Cadlips, CGTN in Quebec City, Canada.